Elephants are interesting. They are intelligent. They also have a great memory. You should always be kind to elephants. They remember everything. A woman from India told me a story. When she was a little girl, she knew of an evil elephant keeper. He often hid his elephant. He was very mean and cruel to the elephant. Then the evil keeper sold the elephant. The new keeper was a very kind man. Many years later, the evil keeper met the elephant again. The elephant remembered the evil man. He picked up a stone with his trunk and threw it at the evil man. The elephant still knew the man, even after so many years. Elephants help each other, too. Elephants use a special sound. The sound is so low that people cannot hear it. This sound travels really far. Groups of elephants can communicate with each other, even if they are far apart. This is very useful because it helps the elephants to find water and food. The elephants cooperate to help each other. My best friend Katie lives near a beautiful white sand beach. Her parents take us there every summer. The water is clean and refreshing. We have a lot of fun in the waves. Last year, there was an oil spill at Katie's beach. We volunteered at the beach to clean up the oil and help the birds that were caught in the spill. When we arrived at the beach that day, the water was slick with oil and the white sand had turned black. It was an ugly sight. At first, the rescue workers would not let us on the beach, we had to watch from a distance. We watched as they put a huge float in the water, called a boom. This device kept the oil slick from spreading. Once they stopped the slick, we were allowed on the beach to help. Each of us was given a broom. We swept the oil into a pile. The workers took it away in big trucks. We all worked very hard that day to restore the beach. Once the oil was removed, the birds that had been caught in the oil had to be helped. The workers showed us how to remove the oil from their wings. Then the birds could fly away to safety. We were very proud of ourselves that day. We helped save our beautiful beach and the birds who visit it. The Amazon is an amazing river. It is unique in many ways. IT is the second longest river in the world. It is 6,500 kilometers long. It starts up in the Andes Mountains. Its drainage basin, the area of land that collects water, covers 40% of South America. The Amazon River has many small rivers that supply it with water. It is the widest river in the world. The river rises more than 9 meters during the rainy season. It overflows its banks. It floods large areas of the rainforest. During that time, in some parts, it has a width of up to 40 kilometers. The Amazon River is over 325 kilometers wide at its mouth. It has more water than any other river in the world. The Amazon River is also home to many animals. Over 2,000 types of fish live in the Amazon River. One kind of fish is the piranha. The piranha is a terrifying fish. A piranha grows up to 60 centimeters long. It hunts in a group. A group of piranha can kill and eat cattle in a matter of minutes. They are so efficient that only the bones are left. This fish is one of the most dangerous creatures in the Amazon River.
I have been interested in robots for as long as I can remember. The first thing I did when I entered high school was join the Robotech Robot Making Club. We get together after school every day and create our own robots. Nowadays it is very easy to find kits to build your own robot and these are what we use. The highlight of the year for us is the annual robot maze race. Everyone who wants to take part has to make a small computer-controlled robot. You need to race it to the center of a maze. We work together in teams of three or four. This year, I am working with two students who won last year's competition, so I think we have a really good chance of winning. Our robot is about 30 centimeters high. It weighs 2 kilograms. It should be really quick. We have been practicing often, and we have already equaled last year's speed, so we just need to get a little faster. We are keeping the design of our robot secret. If we win, we will get $500. I hope this will be my lucky year. One of the greatest achievements in the world is to win the Nobel Prize. It has been given to people since 1901. There are prizes for physics, chemistry, and medicine. There are also prizes for literature, economics, and peace. The Nobel Prize is named after Alfred Nobel. He was born in Stockholm, Sweden, in 1833. Alfred Nobel invented dynamite in 1866. Dynamite is used in mining, construction, and war. Before he died, he wrote that all of his money should be used to create the Nobel Prize. He died in 1896. The first prize was given in 1901. Each prize has three parts, a diploma, a gold medal, and money. The money has increased since 1980. It is now 10 million Swedish crowns. This is about 1 million euros. How are the winners chosen? Five committees secretly meet to pick the winners. The Nobel Prize for Economics is the only one that is not decided that way. That is because it was created in 1956 by the Bank of Sweden in honor of the 50th anniversary of Alfred Nobel's death. The Bank of Sweden decides who gets the Nobel Prize for economics. Since 1901, over 750 people have won the Nobel Prize. What makes a painting a great work of art? There are many answers to that question. Some people think that a painting should look pretty. Others disagree. The skill of the painter is important. The techniques used are also important. Most of all, a great painting has meaning. A great painting has a special element in it. Sometimes, a painter's special element is the way he portrays his or her feelings in a piece of art. An example of this is Picasso's painting, Guernica. It has strange shapes in it. It shows suffering people, too. It is not a very pretty picture. However, it makes people understand Picasso's feelings about war. Other times, the element is a memory or feeling. This comes from inside another person. Someone may see a painting and be reminded of a beautiful memory. A painting can also remind people of a feeling. For example, Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa is very popular. Many people like her smile. Some people say it is a mysterious smile. 
Others say it is a happy one. Still others make up stories about the woman in the painting. Which element is the most important? Is it the skill of the artist or the feelings of the person looking at the painting? Whatever the case, a painting that grabs people's emotions is popular. The latest blockbuster movie Robots Attack 2 starring Garrison Fort opened yesterday. Fort and Andy Robot are at it again, saving people from the jaws of death. The evil robots are invading Atlantis once again. The crowds seem to love the sequel, maybe they loved it as much, if not more than, the first robot's attack. The special effects are fantastic. Mr. Fort seems to have worked on his fighting technique. His martial arts skills are amazing. He beats the evil robots easily. Of course, our leading man saves a lady in distress, the fair Angie. She promptly falls in love with Garrison the hero. However, Andy Robot is jealous of this new love. He spends a good part of the movie trying to ruin their plans. Another surprise is the evil robot, Homer, who decides he wants to become a do-gooder. His partner, Ethel, works hard to make him return to his evil ways. Does Andy Robot succeed in rescuing Garrison Fort from love? What about Ethel? Does she bring Homer back to his evil ways? To find out, head for the theater, buy a ticket, and sit back and relax.